Hi everyone, um, this is just a haul video. I went to the Trafford Centre in Manchester and picked up a few bits so I just thought I'd share them with you. Um, first thing I got was from Space MK. It's just a single eyeshadow from NARS. I actually wanted the dark brown one from the new collection but as usual everything was out of stock. Didn't have any in so I'm hoping to pick one up in London instead. Uh, this one is called Himalayas, um, which just looks like a white shadow there, but it's it's got like sort of gold and pink and green undertones to it. It's very pretty. Um, you're not going to be able to see that, but I'll try and swatch it on my finger. It sort of looks like that. But when you sort of rub it on, all these sort of pretty undertones come out. So this is going to be a really good highlighter for lots of different looks. Um, it'll go with lots of different colours. It's go really well with greens, purples and golds, I think. So that's that. Um, also went to YSL and picked up a few goodies. I saw... Um, So the first thing I bought was the Perfect Touch Foundation. Um, anyone who follows my blog will know I've got a big thing for foundation um, and I've been wanting to try this one for quite a while. Um, I got shade 5 which um, it doesn't have a name, it's just called shade 5. So that was good because for once it wasn't the palest colour in a foundation. You've probably all seen this before, it's the one with the brush. I don't use the brush to apply it, I've just been using my 187 brush and that seems to be doing a good job. But I've only used it like once or twice so I'm not going to review that yet. Um, it seems to last well though, I'll say that for it, without powder. Um, but I'll do a full review on that when I've had a little bit more time to play with it. Um, second thing I got, this was... Um, totally inspired by Tally who whose uh, blog is called the Gloss, the Gloss Gloss and she's fantastic she makes really good videos so I'd highly suggest that you check her channel out I'll put a link in the sidebar to that um, and this is one of the YSL palettes hello camera uh, this is a YSL palette number seven it's a five colour harmony for eyes and it looks like this and Tally's already shown this but I'm just going to show it again because it's so gorgeous um, I'm just going to take these little brushes out so I can show you um, this is sort of a, a lime green yellow shade this is an olive green with shimmer this is a golden brown and this is a very pale gold very very pale which could be used as a highlighter this one in the middle, you can use it as a liner or you can use it as a matte shadow. It works as both. See, it, it will swatch and it's just a very dark chocolate brown. Um, I haven't actually played with that yet, so I'm looking forward to giving that one a go. Um, I also picked up one of these limited edition blushes, um, which... This is number one and it looks like that. It comes sorry, it comes in like a square square part like this, which is really nice. You don't get a lot of product as you can sort of see. Um but you know. It looks like this. It's sort of a peachy pink colour. Um I'll just swatch that. It's a nice it's a cream blush obviously. Um looks like that these are quite quite dry cream blush so whereas Illamasqua is quite moist and quite sort of feels quite plumpy on your skin these are quite these sort of dry and you have to wear quite fast with them I think so that's that and sec last but not least we also have a this is a new product called a gloss volupt or the loop day, which is 
everybody knows about the Rouge Velux. Um, I'm quite a fan of those myself. And I saw Tally's video and she had a gorgeous red shade, which looks amazing on her, but I'm not sure that I could carry that off for every day. But I do like wearing red lipstick, so I picked this up, which is shade 3. Um, these are just like basically very pigmented lip balms in a lipstick form. Um, and this is that colour. Um, a sort of cherry red and I'll just wipe this what I got on and show you what this looks like on so it gives you a sort of redness with that with but it's a bit more wearable and it swatches like that so it's quite a quite a blue red really and it's got that gorgeous watermelon smell so that's uh, I can't remember how much all this was um, I think I've blotted it out <laughs> because it came to a lot of money but never mind it makes me happy um, and I think they've got these in like neutral colours pinks, a beige a brighter pink and this one I think there's only about 4 or 5 shades um, but I really like this one um, I'm not sure whether these are permanent or limited edition. If they're limited edition, I might pick up another one, but I'll see how I go with this. Um, so there you go, that's my little wee haul there. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any other products yourself, or if you want reviews on anything, then just drop me a comment below and I'll do my best to get to it. Okay, thanks very much for watching, and don't forget to rate and comment if you can be bothered. And um, I'll see you all soon. Bye!